Hi there. So I thought I would do an initial impressions video of these two pairs of sunglasses. On my right I have the Wiley X Valor and on my left I have the Wiley X Guard. I saw these both on Amazon for around uh, 60 to 70 bucks each with free return shipping. So I figured I would order both of them and keep the one that I like and send back the other one. I'll go over uh, what I like and what I don't like about each pair. Uh, here is the Valor. Both of these are really good sunglasses and both of these also come with uh, three different types of lenses, just uh, smoke gray, yellow, and clear. And these are both also um, highly rated uh, safety glasses made for shooting and they're just designed to um, look more like sporty sunglasses that you can just wear out just wherever, going shopping or doing whatever. And people would just not be the wiser that they're actually safety rated for firing or uh, wearing when you're firing a gun. These are both also uh, pretty much all matted black. I like that a lot about the Valor. I think they did a really good job about uh, a nice stealthy look. It looks a lot like um, an Oakley flak jacket without um, Oakley's emblem on the side, obviously. See, the vision is good in both of these. Here on the Valor, what I don't like though, is how thick the frame is over here. Because when I'm wearing these glasses and I notice out of the corner of my eye, this bothers me. And I had the same problem with the Oakley flag jackets as well. And then moving on to the Wiley X Guard, uh, same thing, three different lenses uh, came with this pair. So here, this thin frame takes care of that problem that I have. Uh, when I look out of the, my corner of my eye, there's absolutely no peripheral vision block, which mostly comes in handy when I'm looking uh, over my shoulder in my car to check my blind spot. They're pretty similar. I personally like an all matted black look, so I kind of wish this chrome wasn't here on the logo, but oh well, you can't win them all. They're pretty nice. Uh, let's see. One thing I don't like on this pair as much as the Valor pair is how deep the nose bridge comes in. I feel that it kind of digs into my nose because it's... Uh, bit bigger on the on this pair of the guard than it is on the Valor. And I'll go ahead and show that difference. Yeah, you can see here on the left, the guard has a significantly bigger uh, nose piece. It kind of digs into your face, which I don't like, but oh well, I guess I'll get used to it. Oh yeah, also, since I'm um, on the right, since the Valor is a thicker, more rigid uh, frame, when I first tried this on for about a day, I kind of felt like it was squeezing my head. But, yeah, that's just me. Oh yeah, one more thing about the Valor I just also remembered. This might just be the particular pair that I got, but when I lay it down flat, The, uh, the legs aren't even. And I've kind of tried just uh, bending this a couple times, but it always reverses this position. So here on my right side, this leg is not touching the table. So unfortunately I can do that when the glasses are just sitting there. Uh, let's see, one more thing before moving on to the holster bags that these come with. The Valor glasses are more stable when they're just sitting here folded up where the guard ones tend to rock themselves back 
and they can just kind of bounce up and down and wobble a little bit, which is a little bit inconvenient, but oh well, it's not a deal breaker either. So moving on to the bag holsters, uh, they're basically exactly the same except the logo on top is just slightly different between the two of them. And here opening up the bag for the guard, you get some very exciting paperwork on how to take care of your glasses and what they do, yada yada, their safety glasses. Now let's see, the guard comes with a strap. This strap is for using with the holes that are on the legs here. So then you can use this strap to put the glasses around your head. Also, let's see if we get a cleaning lens with the Wiley X logo. It's pretty nice, it's pretty big. And the Valor doesn't come with this piece. The Wiley X guard comes with the this, um, I'm not really sure what it's called, but a bridge that goes uh, up on the top of glasses here. I tried this on for a second and then I didn't really feel like it really did very much and I just kind of felt like it bothered my eyebrows, so I might try it again later, but I'm not in a hurry to use it. And that's it. Otherwise, um, both come in the same size box. Three lens interchangeable system. And that's about it for an initial impression. And after uh, trying both of these on, I am personally going to side with the guards even though the nose is a little bit uncomfortable. I prefer these over the Valors because of the peripheral vision problem that I was describing. And that's a big issue for me. I don't like having a blind spot when I'm wearing sunglasses. And in fact, while I'm at it, I'll show the pair that these are pretty much replacing. The pair of Oakleys that I ended up using after I tried out a pair of flag jackets was the M frames here. And obviously these are a pretty similar style, but one thing I didn't like about these M frames was that because of this big unibrow look on top and because of this um, squared off shape on the end of the lens, I kind of thought these kind of looked very uh, militarized. And uh, so I want something that looks a little bit more casual. Even though uh, the M frame does have different lens shapes, I just still kind of don't like that unibrow look. And you can obviously see the similarities. And that's why I sided with the, something with a very thin frame design. So uh, that's it for now. That's my initial impression. I think this is going to be a really good pair of glasses, and uh, see you later.